Chris, I, I think that I, we'll carry on chatting and I will play some music now and again. But OK. Um, I noticed the, the BBC have announced they're going to go digital. They're going to go very digital, closing down all kinds of um, analogue or linear. They say linear. I suspect they are using all kinds of digital bits and pieces in between. But I expect so. I well, you can see how quick they can get their tracks. Oh, that's yeah, that's very very quick. Well, the that press of I'm a button. sure someone just types it into a database. A database. There it is. Yes. Well, they might have. Apple Music <laughs> or YouTube Music or yes. loads I, of other. I can remember long, long ago um, when I was listening to John Peel on on the BBC. Just to let you know, he's dead. Yes, I know he's dead. I did say long, long ago. What was his name? John oh, John Walters, I think. Was oh, his, his producer. yeah, I've never heard of him. Well, anyway, they were having a conversation, and it was a long time ago, and they were saying um, the cost, the internal cost, this is all internal budgets, of going to the library, the BBC library, which is obviously very, has a lot of CDs in it. Yeah. Um, is um, it's enormous. It's an enormous cost. Yeah. I've found that going down Oxford Street, I forget which shop they mentioned, but it might have been Virgin or HMV. Yeah. Uh, if you shop carefully, it can it can be a lot easier. And yeah. at that at that point, I think other other BBC people started doing that, and the, the whole system started to fall apart. So this this move to subscribe to Apple Music, well, if that's we, what you think they're we doing, we don't know. They might have subscribed to Spotify. They might. Or they might just have a huge archive because this is the BBC. You would think, wouldn't you? I don't think they have the archive that we. Don't have. Well, you 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 mean you've got YouTube at home, Chris? Is that what you're hinting at? I was saying I'm sure the BBC have got a bigger budget than Phonic. Oh, I think they have. And do you think that they um they're able to negotiate from whatever streaming service they're using some sort of interface that gives them a bit more control over when the tracks start and stop and display information and things like that because no no <laughs> they just have to have the standard consumer <laughs> interface i'm sure they can probably edit much faster than us well yeah i expect they can um on our facebook page that's the wild show facebook page i've put a link to a conference they've got coming up which is all about artificial intelligence, because that I think that's what they're gonna. If if they're either gonna do um, a radio show, which is aimed at lots of people, that's broadcasting, or they're gonna do an individual service for people, which is based on their previous requests. So instead of having 87 listeners as we do, they'll they might do 107 different shows for people do you think I don't know quite what it is but artificial intelligence is um, is what they're studying I think we should do the same but Chris I've, I've realized that if we fail to have an app of different kinds the two sorts of app I've got in mind when JD was was here I talked to him about a breakfast show did you because as you know, I do the drama show in a sort of breakfast show spot, and I'm I'm not quite sure what sort of show it should be. And we've worked out there could be an app, which gives people their feed of weather forecasts and traffic information and all the things like that are built into it somehow, and then they can have their own choices. 
but they might want to switch to a live radio bit every so often. Yeah. And if we were the BBC, we could rec we could um, commission such an app, and that would be all right. There'd be a budget for it. But I I think we've we can't do that. We've just got to pretend. So we could do the the section where the listeners phone in and talk to a voice robot. Well, not that we, once we got a phone working, we can't do it at the moment. But um, there must be a voice robot sort of voice we could have that asks the question, such as, "When you're waking up, how busy are you? Can you cope with variation? Do you need to know the weather?" Do you have a favourite playlist? Do you just want to hear the same six tunes anyway? All these questions could be asked, and then we'd come up with something later. Yeah, and you could ask our producer, who's just texted me. All oh, right, and what's he, he got says, to say? He says, you'll have to do without a sound engineer today. Oh, dear. Well, yes, because he's... He, he's um, He's a very good case for this variations he, in sound. He said, I see there is no sound engineer today. <laughs> Can you tell us if the sound's any good? We're not at all sure what's going on with this sounds. The, JD the, said the mics aren't good, but I'm not sure. No. No, well, I, I, I think... He's, he's not wrong. No. The, 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 um, do the listeners need to know about all this? I'm not sure. 